With each passing year, the number of World War II veterans in all nations naturally continues to dwindle. Those who remain in 2023 are extremely elderly, World War II having ended 78 years ago. Living veterans today were very young soldiers and officers of very junior ranks during the war, the senior officers all having passed away. But it may come as a surprise that some World War II generals were still alive in the first decade of the 21st century, and in this video we list the longest-lived World War II generals of both the Allied and Axis nations, the very last generals and admirals to have commanded considerable bodies of men in some of the greatest campaigns of the war. These are the last World War II generals to die. We begin our list with Japan and a naval officer. Vice Admiral Mesichi Nimi first entered the Imperial Japanese Navy in 1905. A specialist in naval artillery, Nimi served throughout the Edwardian period and World War I on a variety of battleships and cruisers, and made captain by 1929. He commanded in succession the cruisers Oi, Yakumo, and Maya during the 1930s. Promoted to Rear Admiral in 1935, he attended the coronation of King George VI in London in 1937, and in 1939 was promoted to Vice Admiral and served as commander of the Imperial Japanese Naval Academy. Vice Admiral Nimi commanded the naval component of the invasion of the British colony of Hong Kong in December 1941 and was later Commander-in-Chief of the Maizuru Naval District in Japan, retiring in March 1944. Vice Admiral Nimi was the last surviving Japanese general officer of World War II when he died in 1993 at the advanced age of 106. Next on our list is a Polish general. Born in 1892 in Galicia, what is now Ukraine, Stanislav Marcek was drafted into the Austro-Hungarian army in World War I, serving as an officer on the Italian front. He was the only Polish officer in the Austrian mountain troops. With the recreation of Poland after World War I, Marcek became a Polish army officer, seeing plenty of action during Poland's early conflicts with its neighbours. By late 1938, Marcek commanded a motorized cavalry brigade, and during the German invasion in September 1939, facing overwhelming odds, Marcek's brigade fought very impressively. Following the Soviet invasion of Poland on the 17th of September, Marcek's brigade was ordered into Hungary, where the troops were interned. However, Marcek managed to escape to France, helping form a new Polish army, and receiving promotion to brigadier general. Fighting the Germans again, this time in France in summer 1940, Marcek and many of his men were forced to become fugitives and made it to the UK via Vichy France, North Africa and Portugal. In February 1942, Marcek formed the 1st Polish Armoured Division in Scotland and commanded it during the Battle of Normandy in 1944 and won a series of brilliant victories at Mont Hormel, Hill 262 and Chambois. The division played the crucial role in preventing the German army from escaping from the Falaise pocket. Marcek's division spearheaded the Allied advance across northern France, Belgium, the Netherlands and on into Germany, ending the war in the capture of the German naval base at Wilhelmshaven. Promoted to Major General, Marcek commanded all Polish troops in the UK until 1947, when he was promoted one last time to Lieutenant General. Unable to return to Poland due to the communist takeover of his country, Marcek settled in Edinburgh in Scotland. Denied a pension, he was forced to take a very ordinary job to support himself and his family, working as a barman in a hotel. I've covered this in a video about the disgraceful treatment of some Polish generals in the UK after World War II. Link in the end screen. Marcek received some financial help, not from the British, but from the Dutch, due to his liberation of some of their towns in World War II. Lieutenant General Marcek died in Edinburgh in 1994 at the age of 102, and is buried among the Polish war dead in the Dutch town of Breda. Third on our list is the last US World War II general to die. 
Born in Nebraska in 1893, Ralph Corbett Smith entered the U.S. Army in 1916 and saw service in the Mexican Punitive Expedition under Brigadier General John Pershing against revolutionary Pancho Villa. Smith also served on the Western Front in World War I, being awarded the Silver Star with Oak Leaf Cluster for gallantry and was wounded during the 1918 Meuse-Argonne Offensive. When the U.S. entered World War II in December 1941, Smith was an acting colonel and in 1942 was promoted to Brigadier General, then to Major General, commanding the 27th Infantry Division tasked with the defense of the Outer Hawaiian Islands. In 1943, he commanded the division during the U.S. invasion of Macon Atoll, part of the larger Tarawa operation. His 6,500 troops pitted against 800 well-dug-in Japanese defenders. Smith fell foul of 5th Amphibious Corps Commander Lieutenant General Holland M. Smith of the U.S. Marine Corps, and disagreements between the two Smiths caused a serious breakdown in relations between the Army and the Marine Corps. In July 1944, Major General Ralph C. Smith commanded the army element of the amphibious invasion of Saipan. Smith was relieved of his command during the battle for alleged lack of aggression as the feud between the army and the marines rumbled on. A subsequent investigation revealed that Major General Smith had been unfairly maligned and removed from command. Transferred back to the U.S., Smith later became U.S. military attaché in liberated Paris and received the Legion of Merit for his service. He retired in 1948 and was a fellow of Stanford University. Ralph C. Smith died in 1998 at the age of 104. At position number four on our list is a Red Army general, the last of Stalin's World War II generals to pass away. Georgi Vasilievich Ivanov was born in 1901 to a Cossack family, and in 1919 Ivanov joined the newly formed Red Army, serving in the Don Cossack Cavalry. Commissioned as an officer in 1922, Ivanov served in a succession of cavalry units in the Soviet Union, and eventually in 1940 as a general staff officer. During a reconnaissance mission to locate the whereabouts of a missing headquarters, Ivanov's plane was shot down in July 1941, during the early stages of the German invasion, he being wounded by shrapnel. In March 1942, Ivanov was appointed Chief of Staff of the 24th Rifle Corps, 60th Army, and during the Battle of the Dnieper in September 1942, Ivanov received the Order of the Red Banner and later fought at Kiev. Appointed Chief of Staff of the 27th Rifle Corps, 13th Army, in January 1944, he was awarded the Order of Suvorov, 3rd Class, and a 2nd Order of the Red Banner, and promotion to command of the 6th Guards Rifle Division. He led this division during the Vistula Order Offensive, crossing the Oder River in January 1945. Due to repulsing several intense German counterattacks on the divisional bridgehead across the Oder, Colonel Ivanov was made a hero of the Soviet Union and received the Order of Lenin in April 1945. His division then took part in the assault on Berlin and later the Prague Offensive. Awarded the Order of Kutuzov Second Class, Ivanov was promoted to Major General on the 27th of June 1945, taking part in the huge Moscow Victory Parade, and was honoured several more times, including by the United States, who made him an officer of the Legion of Merit. After the war, Major General Ivanov was a senior lecturer in a military academy. Major General Ivanov died in December 2001 at the age of 100. The last British World War II general to pass away was James Hill. Born in Bath, Somerset in 1911, Hill joined the army in 1931, serving as a junior officer in the Royal Fusiliers. During the Battle of France in 1940, he oversaw the evacuation of Brussels in Belgium, and later commanded the beach at Depan during the Dunkirk evacuation. Hill then volunteered for parachute training, and commanded the 1st Parachute Battalion in North Africa. During heavy fighting in Tunisia against German and Italian forces, Hill was wounded and armed only with his revolver, attempted to capture three Italian tanks single-handed. 
He managed to capture two of them, but machine gun fire from the third resulted in him being hit several times in the chest. Awarded the Distinguished Service Order and the French Legion of Honour, he was evacuated to England. After recovering from his wounds, Hill was promoted to brigadier and given command of the 3rd Parachute Brigade, part of the 6th Airborne Division, and jumped into Normandy on D-Day. Involved in intense fighting, Hill was awarded the bar to his Distinguished Service Order, indicating a second award of the medal. Hill next saw action in the Battle of the Bulge, as British forces assisted the Americans in containing the German Ardennes Offensive in the winter of 1944-45, then took part in Operation Varsity, the airborne crossing of the River Rhine. At the end of the campaign, he reached the River Elbe with his brigade, and was awarded a second bar to his DSO and the United States Silver Star. Brigadier Hill retired in 1949, devoting his remaining years to private business and charity work. James Hill died in March 2006 at the age of 95. At position number two is the last German general from World War II. Heinrich Trettner was born in Munich in 1907, joining the new Luftwaffe in 1935. He served with the Condor Legion in the Spanish Civil War, when World War II broke out, Tretner was a staff officer at the 7th Parachute Division and later Chief of Operations 11th Parachute Corps during the invasion of Crete in 1941. He was given command of the 4th Parachute Division in October 1943 until the end of the war, receiving promotion to General Major and earning the Knight's Cross as well as the Iron Cross 1st and 2nd Class, his division surrendering to the Americans in May 1945. In 1956, Tretner returned to military service in the new armed forces of West Germany, the Bundeswehr, and he was based in Paris as commander of logistics at the Allied headquarters until 1959. Due to his involvement in the Spanish Civil War, East Germany claimed Tretner was involved in the infamous bombing of Guernica in 1937. Tretner also had a very bad relationship with the German Deputy Minister of Defence. He resigned from the Bundeswehr in 1966. General Major Tretner died one day before his 99th birthday in September 2006. From my research, the number one spot for the last surviving World War II general must go to Sun Yuanliang, who was a member of Chiang Kai-shek's National Revolutionary Army in China. Born in Chengdu in 1904, during the last decade of the Qing dynasty, Sun attended military academy in Shanghai in 1924 and served on Chang's northern expedition to unite the nation under Chang's authoritarian rule. Sun was sent for further training at the Imperial Japanese Military Academy in Tokyo until 1928. In 1931, Chang gave him command of the German-trained Chinese 88th Infantry Division, and by 1934, Sun was a lieutenant general. In 1932, during the Battle of Shanghai, Sun's division actually defeated the Japanese in a battle at Miao Hong. During the 1937 Battle of Shanghai, during the Japanese invasion of China, Sun ordered one of his regiments to make a last stand at the famous Se Hung Warehouse in Shanghai, a battle immortalized several times on film. During the Japanese attack on Nanking, Sun's unit was trapped in the city and disintegrated in combat, Sun managing to escape to Chinese lines. In 1944, during a massive renewed Japanese offensive in China, codenamed Operation Ichigo, Sun's 29th Infantry Corps was among the few experienced troops left in China as most of Chang's army was supporting British and US efforts in Burma and Yunnan. Sun's corps helped defend Chongqing, now Chongqing, driving off Japanese forces twice its size. Chang promoted Sun to full general and awarded him the Order of Blue Sky and White Sun. During the resultant Chinese Civil War, in 1948 Sun's units became encircled by communist forces. His army was destroyed, but Sun and many of his survivors made it to Nanjing. He eventually followed Chang into exile in Taiwan, where he retired. 
General Sun Yuen Liang, the last World War II general, died in Taiwan in May 2007 at the age of 103. Many thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share, and also visit my audiobook channel, War Stories with Mark Felton. You can also help to support both of my channels at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.